Yeah, my name is Alex, um, Alex Evans. Um, my dog Rocky was shot, killed. First of all, what happened was um, we, um, I was in the house and my wife and my mother was, was coming outside because somebody pulled up outside and it happened to be a sheriff. And Rocky ran out, um, ran out because you know, we, we have a no leash law around here so you don't have to have a leash or chain anything on your dog. And um, so, you know, we let him out. Um, not, cause everybody know him. Everybody know when he come up, you know, we, even some of the, the cops know him. He don't bother nobody. So he ran out and um, my wife and my mama walked out and the officer came up and he didn't tell us what was going on. He pulled out his gun and my wife and my mother told him, don't shoot. He won't bite. And as soon as they said that, he shot the dog twice. He shot him in the neck and then in the head. And the dog was down. Um, so I, I came, I was already coming outside and I went over there to see if I can comfort the dog before he died. I knew he was going to die, you know. Um, he, it was blood everywhere. So I wanted to comfort him, let him know I was there. I loved the dog to death. He was my baby. I had him. I actually had his mother and father and raised him since he was a baby. I didn't go out and buy him, I bought his father and I raised his mama. And um, we had a generation of dogs for seven years, seven plus years, man. And they had never been anybody, had never did anything to even show any type of reference to anybody. I have them around my kids, my little, um, my infants, you know, um, my little nieces, nephew, friends. And I would not even have my dog around, nobody like that, no kids or nothing if I knew that he was aggressive. And um so like I said, get back to the story about um he got shot. He um so I, I went over there to flip the dog over and the dog was still actually luckily still breathing and the cop said, Oh no he's dead, he's dead and so I looked, gave the cop a look because he was still breathing. He was still breathing and um like I said I comforted him and um to basically, I hold him, held him in my arm till he died. Um, took his last breath, just to let him know I was, I was still there. Cause, um, believe it or not, Rocky actually—I didn't tell nobody about him. He actually passed away when he was a baby pup. <laughs> this how me, how close me and him are. Um, he passed away as a baby pup, and I gave him CPR with my hands and brought him back. And ever since then, me and him was was real close. Everywhere I go, Rocky with me. So we already had that bond when he had passed with a puppy. Something I didn't tell nobody. And um my, my wife knew and you know my friends knew. But um so yeah, so um he uh he was a he was a good dog, man. He was very sweet. Like I said, everybody knew him, even some of the, the officers, sheriffs knew him. Um I took him to um like little places like Southern States, you know, hey Everybody knew him. He got along with any dog, you know. Um, he wasn't aggressive towards any other dog. He wasn't. I got chickens, you know. Um, he wasn't. He never killed any of the chickens. Never killed any of the cats. Um, he was a very sweet dog. Um, and um, about um, the officer saying that the dog. Uh, was close to his leg. That's not true. The dog was like four, three to four feet away from the officer. He did not give the dog any time to even get close to even nipping at him. He um he shot fire before the dog can even get arm re arm length against him. You know, and that that's what the messed up part is. That and was really messed up. He came to the wrong address. It was a 911 call, and um, it was actually my cousin who had a wreck on the on um, on other side of town. He had a wreck, and his phone went dead. So we had a call back on another phone to, you know, because they had a wreck, like I said. And um, and he lived blocks down the street, man. He stayed down the street, man. He don't stay he don't stay in the White Store uh, White Store Road range you know and um 
like I said, he stayed down the street. So um, they, he called them, and they they showed up here unannounced. We didn't know that was coming. Like I said, we didn't know. Everybody's thinking that we knew the cop was coming. No, we did not know the cop was coming. If I knew that, I would have just, you know, I wouldn't have let Rocky out in the first place because I know how they could be sometimes. And um, so, yeah, so he called on one by mistake. Well, he's not by mistake, I'm sorry. He called him because it was a wreck, I'm sorry. And um, like I said, they came here and they came on my property and, and killed my dog for no exact reason, no reason at all. And um, this ain't the, the first time it happened. It's not the first time it happened, and um, this is actually the second time it happened. The first time a cop shot my, my uh, a sheriff shot my dog here too, uh, but I wasn't outside to, nobody was outside to see the story, so his, you know, whatever he said, we just went with, but he did not shoot to kill the dog. He just shot the dog because he thought the dog was going to attack him, but the dog did not, because after he shot the dog, I actually let my dog get close to him, and he put his hand down there, and he seen that the dog did not even try, to, even after being shot, the dog did not even try to bite him, period. And the dog knew who shot him and all, you know. He did not try to even show any aggression toward him. So I know if it made him feel real bad. He actually, he asked me um, for, um, if I needed any, like, medical treatment for him, I told him not. It was okay, it was just a graze. He can get over it, you know. I, I cleaned him up, I got uh, Simba right, he was okay. That was a couple years back. So then it was a new cop that came out and actually killed Rocky. It wasn't no no mistake. He knew what he was doing. He already had, a, like, I guess you could see a, a chip on his shoulders when he came here in the first place. And um, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why he did. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, when he came out, he did have his hand on his um on his hip already. He did have his hand on his hip, and um, like I said, my wife told him, my mama told him, do not shoot Rocky. <coughs> he would not bite you. He's not going to bite. The man did not give no time for anybody, the owners, to even, you know, get Rocky. That He didn't give no time. He just took matters into his own hands. Well, most time, most officers will warn you and tell you, please get the dog and put him up. He didn't give nobody no time. He just... Shot, killed him. He shot him. He shot him twice. The first time he shot him, Rocky was going down, and then shot him again. Which two shots were very unnecessary. He could have shot him one time. Oh, come on, man. It's a, it's a 45, man. 45. If 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 a dog, I don't know, uh, even a human, man, can't take a, 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 a getting shot by a 45 and think it won't stop him. It definitely it, gonna stop him. The second shot was uncalled. It was uncalled for. It was unnecessary. He shouldn't have did it. it the relationship with Sheriff Officer, <laughs> I actually have a good relationship with the Sheriff Officer, if you know the truth. <laughs> There's a couple of them chefs out there that that are good people, man. It's not, I don't have no problem with the Sheriff Officer. I don't, the only problem I got right now is with the officer that, and, and it's more of a problem because he killed my dog, you know. If if it wasn't for that, he would he would be just oh, just fine just like the rest of them. It was it, it's not no problem, you know. The only problem is they killed my dog on my property for no reason. It it, it was no exact reason. The dog, I don't care. The dog was on my property. I have a beware of dog sign. I have a no posted no trespassing sign. My beware of dog sign is to let people know that my dog there is a dog in the yard. It's not that my dog is vicious. It's not that he that he bite. It's just to let people know that it's a dog running around. And if you're scared of dogs, don't get out your car. If you're scared of dogs, don't even come to my house. Because I have dogs. I have dogs, I have chickens, I have cats. I have I have had many type of animals. And um, and basically, um, about the chicken problem, man, people saying I cockfight and all this and that. No, I don't cockfight. I have been raised around chickens since I was, before I even came out my mama's womb. My daddy, had a love and passion for these birds. They are exotic birds. They come from Thailand, Pakistan, Brazil, different places. They do not, we do not fight our birds. I love my birds. I, you know, they, they're good animals. I was just showing my friend here that, you know, people saying that they got spots missing off of them, they're molting. Of course, it's gonna, of course it's molting season right now. 
it's hot, it's, they're molting. You come back in the wintertime, you see that pretty though. They're very, very beautiful birds. Like I said, I don't fight them. I don't go up and, and, and um, I'm not killing my birds. I do sell every now and again to different people, but what they do with their birds, it's up to them. I mean, you got the other big corporations like, you know, Tyson's and didn't play like that. They, nobody said anything about them. They killing and slicing their birds for food. So, you know, I don't know what's the big deal about me just showing a few of my birds on, on Facebook, you know? It, it shouldn't be no big issue. And people automatically assume that I fight just because I have, you know, a, a whole bunch of chicken fighting um, friends on Facebook that I do not personally know. They're just overseas. I do look at it. I look at it. It like I said, it, it it don't excite me to see birds getting killed. What's it's the exciting part about it is the money that's in it over in Thailand. Like you know the big money. You know it's just like boxing. It's just like uh, UFC. They don't fight with knives on. They don't fight with fake spurs. They wrap them up. They put gloves on them. You know it ain't that. You know, they killing their birds. That's that's how the American way do it. They kill their birds. They don't want to do that. Um, over in Thailand, they don't, man. They they actually, um, like, the biggest fight in history right now was, like, $33 million. That's that's what is, that's, that's, that's mind-blowing to me. It's the money that, that they do for it, just for uh, some chicken fighting. It ain't that they fight them. It ain't that they kill them and nothing like that. It's just the money that they put into it, you know, where it's legal at. And once again, I do not fight my birds. Um, like I said, I do look at it um, on my Facebook, and ain't nothing wrong with looking. God gave me eyes to look. Um, but like I said, I don't participate in it. I just look, you know, and I do raise these birds. Like I said, I have people that, that buy them. I sell them to them, you know, and that's fine, you know. Everybody got their own hobby, you know. But once again, like I said, I don't fight them. But what I do in my backyard is my business, you know. I'm not out here messing with nobody else. You don't see, you ain't you ain't never seen me getting no trouble for me fighting no birds. My father, he did this for many years, for 50 plus years. You would never find anything about him ever getting trouble for fighting no birds or, or being in any type of legal trouble. Because we didn't do that, you know. But what he did in his backyard was his personal business. What people do in their backyard is their personal business. And, you know, that's really all I can say about it, man. You know, whatever you do. What about your, uh, GoFundMe? My GoFundMe My account, man. Um, I, we, I had a few people on there that told me to start one because um, just for like a lawyer for Rocky. It wasn't for, I tell you right now, man, it's not for the money. I mean, it's not for the money. I don't care about money, you know. But it is a time and and the, the pain and suffering that you got to go through, you know. It's not about the money, you know. I just need help with the money to help with a lawyer. I'm not rich, you know. But um, so the GoFundMe account, you know, I had it at um, 5000 but I had somebody go on and comment and say 5000 was too much for a lawyer, so... Me and my wife listened, we was like, okay, maybe that might be a little too much. I don't know. I don't know. You know, from from my understanding, lawyers are not cheap. So we just dropped down to a thousand. You know, so we we, we, we dropped down to a thousand and um see where it goes from there. You know. That's basically it, yeah.